This is the new device from Amazon. It's the Kindle Scribe. Now, could this mean the end of no content, low content and medium content books on Amazon? Or possibly, or possibly this could represent an exciting new opportunity for self publishers on Amazon like yourself. And that's what I want to explore in this video. Now, if you've not been to this channel before, then welcome. My name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep and grow it. And that's your money I'm talking about. If you do like videos like that, then please do give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell. Now, before we get into this opportunity, I just want to have a look at what threat this device may represent. So what is the Kindle Scribe? Well, it's basically a large Kindle on which you can read books, but it has one interesting new feature, a new twist. It comes with a pen because you can write on it. It's an electronic notepad. Now, this is not the first of its kind. I remember a number of years back, I think Remarkable created a first device that was very similar to this. And since then, there have been a few other manufacturers of similar devices, Sony being one. However, when Amazon creates a product like this, you've got to take notice because of their brand, because of their huge distribution network, and the fact they already have the largest collection of ebooks online. So three months ago, when I heard that Amazon were going to be releasing this device, I was pretty excited. You see, I love journaling, I love writing. The only problem is with paper journals and notebooks, if you do move from one place to another, move abroad, you either have to store them or you have to take them with you. So having somewhere where I could write and save all my work electronically and in the cloud represented an interesting prospect. And so when it was released on December the 1st, I put down my money and bought one. Now I've been using it for just over a week and it really is a lovely piece of technology. And it does come installed with these templates. For instance, you've got this lined note paper here, which is very basic and just write on like so. And we've also got these other options. Here's a simple to-do list. And here's an example of some dot grid paper. So I started to think, could this represent a threat to physical notebooks on Amazon? And to answer this question, I decided to look at the effects of the Kindle on printed books. Now, the first Kindle came out in 2007. I remember buying mine in 2010. And at the time, there was all this talk about the Kindle potentially destroying the physical book market. And certainly physical bookstores went in decline, but that was probably more due to the business model of Amazon rather than the effects of the Kindle. So if we look at book sales in 2020, about 190 million electronic books were sold. However, there were 790 million physical books sold, and that's in the US. And with regards printed books from 2019, 2021, sales increased by about 21%. And also the sales of electronic books increased. However, they did decline in 2021. Now that could have been due to the situation in 2020 and 2021 and changes in consumer spending habits. So ebooks have certainly taken a market share, but they haven't destroyed the physical book market. And in fact, as we've just seen, physical book sales have increased. And also people still love paper physical books. I certainly do. I love the covers. I love the weight. I love the feel of the paper. And I love the smell of them too. I know, a bit weird. But people still love physical books and they love physical notebooks, logbooks, and writing in them with a pen. So will this be the end of physical notebooks, journals, medium content books, whatever on Amazon? Well, I don't think so. I think sales will still continue to increase, although I think the electronic versions may take some of the market share. So now we come on to the opportunity that we have at hand here. You see on the Kindle Scribe, there are these pre-installed templates, but they are not brilliant. For instance, take a look at this dot grid template. The dots are a bit large and they are a bit dark. So it is a distraction when writing on the surface. But this is where the big 
opportunity, I think, lies. And that is you can upload a PDF file to the Kindle Scribe to use as a template to write on. But what's even more interesting is that these can be interactive and customizable, which opens up a whole realm of possibility. And that's not just for notebooks, diaries, log books, puzzle books, but also for things like children's books. Imagine having children's books that are interactive. Child can press something on a page and something happens. So here's a template that I downloaded and uploaded to the Kindle Scribe. And here we can see we've just got a basic calendar, 2023, 2024. But what you can do is click on a month here, January, and we're presented with a calendar for January. On the right hand side, we have these interactive tabs, which will take us to the different months of the year. And for the days, we can click on a particular day. And here we have, I've written something already. And we can click back, go to another day. And so you can see how interesting this is when you've got these interactive templates and the opportunities that this represents. So it's these features that I think make this device really exciting. Now, after a bit of searching, I did find some basic templates online, which actually were available for free, but there were also many that were available for sale. Here's an example on Etsy. I just did a search for Kindle Scribe templates and already, despite the fact that this device has only been out for a couple of weeks, there were quite a few templates available. And here's one in particular. And you can see that it's already got six reviews, which means it's making sales. But what's very interesting is the price. $25.89, that's Australian dollars, which is around about 17 US dollars, which represents a really good profit margin for an electronic product. And remember, once these are published and they sit on a website, you can make recurring sales without having to do any extra work. So there are three opportunities here as I see it. One is to create PDF templates similar to the KDP interiors you're already creating and uploading to Amazon. Two is to create interactive PDF templates. So these could be things like diaries, planners, logbooks, and even those children's books that I mentioned earlier. And third, and potentially the most exciting, is the fact that at the moment on the Kindle Scribe, there's only 18 templates available and they are very basic. So I'm thinking whether Amazon might have a plan in the future to maybe open up some sort of marketplace on Amazon to sell templates specifically for the Kindle Scribe. And if they do that, that would be a huge opportunity. And so this could be something you could get into on the ground level. So if you think that there's no more opportunities left in KDP, it's saturated or that you've missed the boat, then really there's no excuse now. You've got something here that you can get in on early. And it's something that I'm certainly going to be doing myself. Now, further videos I do on this Kindle Scribe, I'll leave a link to here. Before that, it will link to my KDP book tutorials where you can find out about creating and publishing physical books. Thank you very much for your time. It is very much appreciated. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and until next time, goodbye.